Transformation is a marked change in form and appearance. In Parasite the Maxim, our main character goes through an intriguing character change. The character change in question is not on a personal level, but on a deeper humanitarian level, being that he becomes less of one. The anime of Parasite is a character study on what happens when someone loses their humanity, becoming something completely different, something less human. In our world, we have our own definitions of what it means to be human. Bipedal? Homo sapien? Generally, we don't define it from a psychological perspective. We don't share the world with other sentient creatures who we can converse with, so we don't have that mirror to look deep within ourselves to determine what it truly means to be human. In Parasite the Maxim, Japan is invaded by parasitic creatures which drill into a human's body in an attempt to reach their brain and take them over. Once assumed, the parasite can shapeshift and unleash a flurry of blades for a deadly attack. They feed on humans and are a natural threat to humanity being above them on the food chain. In the first episode, our protagonist is assaulted by one of these parasites and it attempts to burrow into his brain. He fails and he is designated to Shinichi's right arm, leaving his brain intact. Thus his consciousness is unaffected, but the powers of a parasite still remain, but only in his right hand. As a consequence, Shinichi has a sentient right hand which can slice up anyone that gets in his way, including those who know of his existence, leading to tension between him and Shinichi. This series explores human nature and tries to define humanity by introducing what is not. During a critical turning point in the show, Shinichi is mortally wounded and is healed by Miggy, giving him 30% of his cells to keep him alive. Shinichi, however, is not the same character after this incident. He's not as human. In this video, we will analyze and investigate what Parasite is trying to say about humanity and what it means to be human as we analyze Shinichi's character changes to determine what it means to be human in Parasite, the Maxim. <laughs> The way in which we will investigate the question is by analysing Shinichi's character development. In the first episode, Shinichi comes across as a very timid and very fearful of insects, one being arachnophobia. After Migi's introduction and the merge with Shinichi, no such fear is elicited. Miggy on the other hand is presented as cold, selfish and calculating, being described as an insect without a shred of sympathy. This small and subtle change suggests that something that makes a human so is fear or a phobia or a rash an irrational fear. Fast forward to episode 4 where Shinichi's behaviour begins to change and he becomes more combative with his parents and they can't understand his point of view. They can't understand him. His mother cries and questions if Shinichi is even her son, and he is behaving in an inconsistent manner, first suggesting that his parents should stay home, then adamantly telling them to go, as, as he thinks it would be safer for them over there than at home, as it over here is a prime spot for parasites. Even in this early stage, we can witness a small but significant change in Shinichi. The divide between humans and parasites are made quite observable in episode 5. Shinichi gets into a street fight and knows he can't win. Miggy makes it painfully clear that an Animals avoid fights they can't win, and recommends that Shinichi flees the battle. Initially, Shinichi's instinct is to run, showing signs of being parasitic, but reminds himself that running in the face of danger, danger to save someone else, even with a low chance of success, is what separates us from the animals. The interesting thing to note here is Shinichi's motivation to run into, into the fray of an unwinnable battle. It seems that he's not doing it because he knows it's what he should do, it's because it's the more human thing to do. This shows us that Shinichi is becoming slowly more aware of his sinking humanity, thus he is purposely acting in a defiant way against this newly forming mindset, that of an animal or a parasite like Miggy. Shinichi seems to be almost faking it, though I don't believe that I don't believe that he is, as this is relatively early in his transformation, even before the extreme turning point in episode 6. Episode 6 marks the most significant part of Shinichi's character growth. As a result of a stabbing to his heart, Miggy combines 30% of his cells with Shinichi's in order to keep him alive. Miggy loses some of his powers and must go into a deeper sleep for 4 hours a day where he cannot be awoken. The first instance of character change we see in Shinichi is that he can't cry when he's aware that his mother has been killed. Killed. Instead, he just feels pain in his heart. This links to what we said about fear, and the fact that what we seem to be observing is that the less human Shinichi becomes, the less he seems to be able to elicit emotions. It's important to note that at this stage, Shinichi can feel the feeling, and he is aware that sh what should be there, however he is unable to express it and can calm down remarkably fast. It is mentioned in the 7th episode that crying is in fact unique to humans, so we can safely discern that this is primarily a human characteristic, so its absence can suggest one becoming less so. Something new to note is Miggy. Miggy is able to sense Shinichi's disdain towards him, whereas previously he made no mention of Shinichi's feelings towards him. This could be the start of another transformation, one more human than the former. I love episode 8. 
as there's a lot to observe and analyze in order to answer our question. In this episode, how Shinichi behaves is much different, and now his actions display change, not just his feelings. Others notice it too. After the death of his mother, Shinichi's father is still a wreck. He's depressed as can be. Shinichi, on the other hand, seems incredibly calm and composed, and is acting like it's just another day. His father notices this and, and comments, claiming that his son is still but hollow inside. This statement is more accurate than even he knows, and its usefulness cannot be understated. Steel could refer to his outward strength and protection from the dangers of the outside, just like armor, though the hollowness can be a reference to his lack of empathy or feelings. Very similar to a robot, or in this case, a parasite. Another distinction that can be made between humans and parasites is respect for the dead. Later in the episode, Shinichi recovers an injured dog from the middle of the road, noticing that it doesn't have long left. He brings it to the park for a more peaceful end. Nothing inhumane here so far. It's what happens after though. After the pup passes away, he picks up his corpse and throws it in the bin, claiming that he's just a sack of meat and that the dog isn't actually here anymore. Murano sees this and freaks out and after reflection, buries the dog in a respectful way. At this stage, Shinichi is becoming more aware of his changing mindset, reinforced by Miggy's agreement of Shinichi's initial corpse disposal method. Respect for the dead is a key component of a humane person, as defined by Parasite anyway. As much as Shinichi was able to understand his actions and redeem them, the damage had been done. The developments between Shinichi and Miggy are the ones that strike me as the most interesting. Shinichi, with time, is becoming more animalistic, whereas Miggy is becoming more self Selfless, or as Parasite the Maxim is trying to articulate, human. In episode 9, when Shinichi is getting down on himself, Miggy actually tries to cheer him up and make him feel better. I'm not really sure of the reason as to why Miggy becomes more human-like in nature though. I'm guessing it's the result of some of his cells being mixed in with Shinichi's human ones, or by means of social learning theory, learning the behaviors of what it means to be human from the humans around him, then internalizing them to integrate them into his own behavior. Who knows? Another but arguably less significant turning point is in episode 12. In this episode, Chinichi finally accepts that he has changed and what he is becoming is something between human and parasite. Miki even shows some concern for Shinichi, adding to what we said earlier. Now at this stage, Shinichi appears to be so far gone that he has forgotten what sadness actually feels like. The emotion is nothing but a memory to him now, unless, unless you are super happy or just lying to yourself. This is not a normal thing for a human to experience. He also seems to possess the superhuman ability to go from extreme levels of stress to neutral calmness within seconds. An ability I wish I had during my university life for sure. Now not much really happens regarding our question between episodes 14 and 16, but in episode 17 something major happens which throws a complete spanner in the whole work. One of the parasites has a baby and they give birth to it and claim to raise it for experimental purposes. This baby is actually loved and cared for by this parasite and she gives her and she actually gives her life to save it. So what does that mean then? Is there really a difference between humans and parasites? Did this attachment grow the same way Miggy's did to, Shin to Shinichi? through learning? I wouldn't say so, seems too simple. I'd say that parasites are capable of empathy, but they have not evolved to need it as they cannot reproduce. The show doesn't explain where they came from, so that's my explanation. Somehow, by assuming control of humans, they have lost part of what it means to be parasite, only caring for oneself, as they have no need for friends or bonds. Episode 18 marks the point where Shinichi finally reaches the human part of himself that has been suppressed for so long. After seeing the parasite die over the baby while having Shinichi's mother's face, everything came back. Everything clicked and he cried his heart out. It's like anything, if you don't respect the time to mourn and grieve, it will get you when you least expect it. I'm going to conclude this video by talking about episode 21 as it poses an interesting question similar to the one that we're trying to answer today. Who are the real parasites on this planet? It's true that parasites kill and eat humans, but humans, but are humans perfect creatures which do nothing? Absolutely not. Humans kill en masse, kill each other, hurt each other, damage the planet, and are just generally selfish. But humans can show empathy to one another, be there times of need to support them through life's toughest obstacles. Humans are fragile, just like the parasites. We get stressed, we get sad, we laugh, we cry. We experience a plethora of different emotions, good or bad. I would say that Miggy became more human as he was around one all the time. And as we know, people can bring out the best in each other. We just have to let ourselves.